So, last time they played in tournament, I know Luck, Luck on the left, Oracle on the right. Last time they played in tournament, Luck beat Oracle and then had to play Zach. Zach won and then Zach got to grand finals. Uh, he got to winner's finals to play against Luck. He beat Luck to get into grand finals on the winner's side. And then he played against Setlon and they had quite a good two sets. Yeah. Luck and Oracle, for anyone who somehow doesn't know, two of the best players in the nation. They're both amazing. Even when they play in nationals, they do so well. And our DFW region is just incredibly stacked. So this match you're seeing here is really national level match. Yeah, Luck, uh, last week Luck actually took the game from Oracle, um, forcing Oracle into losers in the uh, oh, ultimate shield. upset tournament. Good side B by Luck uh, ends up doing what Luck likes to do in these situations is he forces uh, his opponent to miss a tech with, with a down air and then essentially read the opponent's options from there and typically their options include get up attack and um, tech or normal get up. They, they don't usually roll, but whenever they do roll, he has enough time to just visually confirm it into a back air or a fair. Luck is using a lot of options that I'm I'm not super used to seeing him using, which makes me wonder if he's as warmed up as he wants to be uh, mentally, because his fingers might be warm, but if his mind's not warm, he's not going to be getting the combos and the connections he needs to oh. get to stay on top against a player of Oracle's caliber. Oh, Oracle ends up doing uh, uh, suicide. Very uncommon for him. He's typically extremely consistent in his gameplay. Um, but... Good combo by Oracle, putting him in a lot of pressure, but uh, Luck ended up doing a successful read into a side beam. Luck is literally and figuratively, figuratively tripping on his own bananas. Oracle <laughs> is trying to space him out with the top and the laser, um, and when he goes in with his side B, it doesn't look like he's able to capitalize on it, and so Luck's pressure is actually oh, leading to amazing, beautiful. amazing easy setups, mm -hmm. and Luck is in the lead right now. Yep. So we have a good conversion into an up air, forcing Luck off the stage, but he makes it back, uh, maintaining good spacing, trying to get some nair combos. Oh, trying to make a read and catching him with uh, with a uh, uh, shield poke, but uh, misses in that regard. Luck seems to always make more from the last sock of his opponent when they're at low percent. He always seems to juggle them better than the previous stocks. Um, from what I've seen, um, so with his opponent already being at 50 sex, 50 sex, with his opponent already being at 56 uh, percent, we are wondering, is Luck going to do a down air to fair? Is Luck going to do an up tilt? Oh, he's just going to do a freaking raw Not forward expecting smash. rogue forward smashes to be effective, but... Oh, that was beautiful! Catching him with that first banana. Ends up grabbing the second banana and uh, glide tossing it down such that uh, whenever he threw the banana forward, it would definitely hit him on the ground in doing an amazing conversion off of that. And Luck has used his weird chimpanzee prison technique of bananas and peanuts everywhere to rack, uh, rob Oracle Rob all the way up to the percent that he needs to kill him with basically anything. A down smash, oh, a fair. Oh, Jade gets the up air. And a weird Diddy Kong flippy up air uh, Captain Falcon Ganon style hits Oracle backwards into the blast zone killing and we'll see if oracle is going to quickly take luck back like he does wow i would not have done this this was just a straight up bad decision uh oracle he's he's very stubborn in a lot of the things that he does and a lot of it revolves around if he loses and he doesn't think that he should have lost in a given situation he wants to uh test his mettle in that regard and fix it but this stage is Luck's stage. You don't do that here. Luck has probably played on this stage twice as much as he's played on every other stage combined. Yeah. And he just knows exactly all of the edges, Ooh. all of the ins and outs. And I wouldn't have taken him here. Oh, but he's making it work pretty well, putting it back to even getting that read with the oh, gyro wow. into a second read oh. into the gyro. Tries to get the third. 
fails in that attempt. Gyro goes right over Diddy's head. Diddy doing the Matrix move. And I'm not sure how Oracle's managing to get in at all with a character as big as Rob. Um, even with Rob's side Bs and a little bit of stage control using Gyro and Laser, I'm really impressed that Oracle's managing to keep it even and even uh, have a very small lead. All right, so we got uh, Luck in a bad spot here. He was on the platform. Worst thing you can be against an opponent, against practically any opponent, is to be on the platform with your opponent below you. That is for certain, absolutely, without a doubt. Okay, so we got both bananas on the stage, giving Luck a uh, great stage presence. Tries to end up dodging that Nair with an air dodge, but gets punished in the process. Both of these players playing at lightning speed. Good conversion into an up air. Can he get the edge guard? Oh. Edge guarding with the top, I wouldn't have suggested. I would have I would have said pretty much take a risk for a smash attack. Mm -hmm. Top isn't going to kill even if it hits, and it ended up going right over Diddy. Uh, things to be aware of. Diddy Kong, in certain regards, if you DI his down throw incorrectly, he can end up getting a uh, very strong fare off of you in the process, in, uh, and that will just murder you at like 90%. And it's interesting to see in this match because Oracle likes to spit out a top and use it, but Lux Bananas being on the stage means Oracle's having a hard enough time um, taking control of the bananas that he rarely has time to make good yeah. use of the tops that he drops and picks oh. up in uh, more typical matchups. So, uh, ends up doing that conversion. Um, we got one stock apiece, 26 to 66. Oracle needs to make sure that Luck does not convert this into a game two win, putting him into losers. He's doing a lot of spacing. Uh, I, I, oh, this is scary. This may be scary, but I don't think Luck is scared. <sighs> I think Luck is... So, Oracle is scared because one bad two-hit combo is going to send him to the loser bracket. Luck is not as scared because he's just trying to make something flashy happen or take it to game three. He well, has both options available. Oracle has only one option, that is finish it now. Finish it or die. So part of the problem in this matchup is that Rob really doesn't have that many answers to bananas. Um, if Diddy Kong gets in with multiple bananas, all Rob can do is either gyro or side B. Both of those can be pretty committal moves in this matchup, especially against a Diddy Kong with a banana in the hand. And oh, great DI by Oracle. Oracle. Eating a forward smash, racking that percent up oh. and taking him so close to the end. Oh, good read. Laser beam. And the big, laser beam. The big dirty laser beam hits Luck in the face and sends him into the third match where Oracle teleported and is waiting for him at an unknown stage. I don't know what Luck will ban. What Oracle will ban. Yeah, Luck won't ban it. I don't know what Oracle will ban. I don't know what Luck has banned. I don't know where Luck wants to go, but... Really, I don't know what's going to happen because I don't know the future yet. Uh, so I think that Lux is going to choose a big stage. Um, I think he's going to not have many platforms. I think that's going to be pretty. Oh, hey. Well, there you go. And FD it is. I was once told by Oracle himself never to let Luck take me to FD. And, you know, he's a hypocrite. He's a big, filthy hypocrite. And I think Luck is going to do a lot of work because Rob has no way to punish Diddy Kong shenanigans Ooh. on a stage like Ooh. this. Out outside of power shielding, if he can just power shield 200 more times, he will have no issue in this matchup. <laughs> it only looks right now like Rob has any chance. But I, I assure you it's <sighs> not true because Luck is going to make Rob... I... I think Rob has control of this match. I think 
I think he's in. I think he's in his head, Charles. I think he's in his head. Charles, get out of my head, Charles. Yeah. Uh, tries to get that conversion into an up air, but misses, unfortunately. Uh, Luck is on the back ropes. End up B reversing a banana. A great technique for any Diddy Kong. B reversing bananas allows you to create space while giving gum your opportunity to get your bananas out. And something I'm noticing, Oracle's being cautious about going for gimps because Lux side B can take a quick stock from you at a low percent and it's just really something Oracle doesn't want to happen. That all plays into Oracle's consistency that we always talk about. Oracle doesn't ever want to have a sudden stock loss yeah. um, unless it's in his favor, unless he's gimping you. Um, he doesn't... He doesn't want the match to go in any unexpected direction. He wants to play it uh, cool, calm, and collected all throughout, and he wants everything to go to go smooth. Yeah. No bumps, no uphill, no downhill. Uh, Luck is having great presence of mind right now. He is playing the matchup exactly as he should. As he should. Um, in fact, this is. Oh no. Ooh. And luck with the suicide. Suddenly, this match and this set are in Oracle's favor, and luck is going to have to make some kind of magic happen if he's going to want to bring this back even and have a chance at winning. I I think he can. And uh, so, finishing my thought before, um, the way that I think that Diddy should play, and the way that I think that he should be playing in general, and not just in this matchup, although it's very powerful in this matchup, is the more of your projectiles you have out on the stage, meaning one banana in hand, one banana in front of you, and peanuts. If you have all three of those going, uh, practically all characters will fall prey to your stage presence. It is very difficult to get through that. And you, you see right here, bananas, peanuts, and all he really has is gyro, but gyro's not going to do jack. Oh, and luck with some good pressure and combos brings the match almost to what a more naive person might call even. Luck knows how to take characters and his opponents from 0 to 50, and now Luck's in the lead. That was a DI mix-up with that down throw. It's, DI mix-upping into an up air. It's and, nuts. Yeah. It's nuts. Luck, no pun intended. Luck is in Oracle's head, and one of these two players is going to get a quick hit, and the match is going to end. This is really close. Very close. 90% to 80%. Diddy Kong versus Rob. Luck versus Oracle. Who do you think you're going, they're going to win? I think Luck, because I think oh. that Diddy has more easy to hit surprise kill connections oh. and I think Rob's kills are harder to set up they're more risky and uh, Diddy just doesn't have to commit oh great spacing by Oracle that could have been the game but he spaced that in there so perfectly that shield grab wasn't an option he's going to go up for the up air but misses and I wonder if Rob will go for a grab. Rob knows his throw kills, and if he can get one in, oh. Oracle's, Oracle's fishing for the kill. He, he, he isn't quite sure what to do in this regard. He, oh, oh, that's oh, so Oracle close to death. It's really crazy. Oh, the audience is for Diddy Kong. The audience is for Luck. Rob Oracle. at 200%. Luck almost suicide. That's death. Oh. That's it. Wow. That was a phenomenal game. Both players, for a minute, were in a situation where any grab would finish it, and Luck got the grab, the up throw that definitely kills a 200. That's really, really oh. rough for Rob. Um, Rob, really difficult matchup against Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong can just really take advantage of Rob's big body and his uh, inability to really deal with that many projectiles.